Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, a new series of reference monitors from Gibson Pro Audio. Let's get started. Monitors beside me are the new Gibson Les Paul reference monitors. We have the Les Paul 4 reference monitor, Les Paul 6 reference monitor, and Les Paul 8 reference monitor, the number referring to the size of the woofer in each of the cabinets. All three of the Les Paul reference monitors also feature adjustable bass and treble controls, and those are adjustable in 2 dB steps from minus 4 dB up to plus 4 dB, so you can really tailor the sound quality. If you want to use them in the flat positions, they sound wonderful, but you can enhance the low end or drop the low end if you're placing them against a wall or in a corner to tailor the response to your room. We have three different input options, balanced XLR, balanced quarter inch TRS, and unbalanced RCA. So these speakers will integrate very well into any home studio, home theater, or stereo rig. All three monitors feature the same high frequency driver, and that is a carbon coated titanium driver. There's also a non woven carbon woofer in each of these models 4 inch in the Les Paul 4, 6 inch in the Les Paul 6, and 8 inch in the Les Paul 8. What changes among these different models is the amount of power and the frequency response. So in the Les Paul 4, we've got 103 watts of power, and the frequency response reaches from 55 hertz up to 47 kilohertz. The Les Paul 4 reference monitor has a 2.4 kHz crossover frequency and it'll deliver up to 109 dB SPL. This makes them ideal for pretty much any near field monitoring situation or where you need a more compact desktop monitoring rig. The Les Paul 6, which is a mid sized monitor, has a total power rating of 247 watts and it has frequency response from 37 Hz up to 47 kHz. Its crossover frequency is 2.7 kHz and it will deliver up to 117 dB of SPL. The Les Paul Reference 8 reference monitor will put out up to 247 total watts of power. Its frequency response is from 37 Hz up to 47 kHz, with a crossover frequency of 2.7 kHz and a maximum SPL of 118 dB. Now, as I mentioned, the Les Paul 4 is ideal for desktop situations, smaller project studios, close near field monitoring. The Les Paul 6 is probably the most versatile among the three models. It'll work well in a variety of different studios, has great frequency response and plenty of volume for just about any size room. But if you are working in a larger room, you need to fill that up with maximum SPL, you're definitely going to want to check out the Les Paul 8 reference monitor. All three of these monitors are front ported and this makes them great if you're working in a smaller space where they have to be closer to the walls, you don't have that port coming back off of the wall. And those are noiseless designs as well, so air rushing in and out is not going to create any noise in your room. Now as nice as the Les Paul reference monitors look with that carved front and those beautiful Les Paul finishes, they really sound great as well. They're detailed, they have good low end extension, crisp detailed mids, plenty of volume for the size of the cabinets. These are really nice monitors to add to your rig. Gibson designed these reference monitors as a tribute to the legendary Les Paul, carrying on the tradition and the heritage of the beautiful designs and sound of their guitars, but bringing it to the reference world monitor. They sound great, they look great, they're a great addition to any studio. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Gibson Les Paul reference monitors. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.